Jim Oberg was a NASA mission controller for more than 20 years. To him, the death of seven astronauts and the loss of the shuttle was more than just an unfortunate accident. It had to be someone's fault. The first feeling, of course, is, oh, no, not again. Oh, no, what is it that we did wrong? Because we know how to fly a shuttle safely. We've done it more than 100 times. Something had gone wrong in the processing and in the decision-making process. Somebody on our team hadn't done their job. And it was a feeling of loss and a feeling of betrayal. Serious questions now loomed in Oberg's mind. Should those astronauts still be alive? Had someone at NASA made a catastrophic error that had caused the disaster? And if so, what had it been? GC flight. GC flight. Fly GC. Lock the doors. Copy. Within minutes of the disaster, NASA's investigators had swung into action. It had begun with that call, lock the doors. This involves not changing the computer configuration. There's a whole list of data collection items that we need to make sure we log through. Not talking to other people and losing the thought you had in your mind at the moment of the disaster. No phone calls, off-site outside of this room. Our discussions are on these loops, on the recorded Divas loops only. It involves locking the doors so that no one comes in or out and destroys the body of evidence, the body of impressions, which must be preserved, must be documented, written down right away, so that sometime months in the future, people can look back at these records and see perhaps the one observation, the one thought, the one clue that unravels the mystery.